and welcome to sim.bc where today I've just been, you know, I'm so tired. I'm absolutely bloody smashed beyond belief. Oh, well, that sounds rather wrong, doesn't it? Okay, what I'm trying to say is that I'm wasted. But that's all that. Uh, or drained. Of energy, I mean. It, it's funny, right? How how creative the English and the, and the Americans are to find kind of sexual or drunken innuendos to like is every single... Is <laughs> describing word in the English language now, isn't it? Because I can't really say smash because you know you go out with a couple of mates and get bloody smashed. Uh, it can't get wasted because the day afterwards you're bloody wasted. And if you go home with someone, well, we can hope that you're drained, can we not? Uh, yeah, I know. Can we not? Can we not stop with all of these bad jokes? But it's true. It's true. I feel a bit uh, drained of my energy today because I don't really know why. I had like the easiest time ever. Uh, both in work, and I haven't even actually worked out today, so two thumbs up for that. Physically, I'm in the peak of my life, right? In the peak of my life. Uh, but for some reason, my brain just don't want to cooperate. It's just all over the bloody place. It was just like, woohoo, filled of energy this morning, and then I went to work, and it was just like, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to, right? And during one of my short breaks, I made a phone call uh, to one of my mates, who told me that, oh, you know, you know this thing about work, you don't, you don't really, it's not fun, it's not fun for many people, many people don't think that work is fun, but what you have to do in those situations is that you have to just work a bit more, yeah, you have to work a bit more so that it becomes fun, yeah, you have to learn to love it, mate. So, not only am I going to bring up shortly the, or rather that I've already had, the, the irritation and the stupid thing, right, that I'm too drained to talk in front of a camera for like 10 to 20 minutes, which is obviously ludicrous because obviously I have energy for that. Uh, it's just a matter of the amount, uh, what should we say, weight that you put to the conversation, which I tend not to do because I do raw footage, right? Green tea, by the way, supporting environment. Really hope that tea doesn't have a negative connotation on the environment because that would be so bad. But green, go green. Uh, but what was kind of stupid, though? Uh, equally as stupid, I would say, as me saying, you know what, I feel a bit drained today. I'm not going to record a video. Uh, something equally stupid was this thing that me mate told me, right? It was one of the stupidest things I've ever bloody heard in my life. The thing that, oh, you don't like your work, well, you just have to learn to love it, right? And I'm like... No. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Now, sure, if you don't have opportunity in life, which sometimes isn't the... You know, it's a bad thing, but sometimes it's not your fault. Depends on how you was born, unfortunately, where you were born and what you look like and what, so if you have a disability or a sickness. It's unfortunate, but it's true. We need to open our eyes to that there's a problem and then find a way to deal with it. But sometimes people don't have the same amount of opportunity as other people, right? And then if you're in a work or if you're in a, well, if you're in an occupation and at a work that you can't really choose because this is bloody, the only bloody work that you can have, then obviously you probably need to learn to love it because you don't have any other options. But I would argue, right, that at the point where I am right now, I have some options in where I want to work. Now, I'm not saying that I can pick and choose freely, right, but at least I have some form of education and I'm going to continue educate myself, so that is an option within itself as bloody well. So this argument of, you know, you just gotta learn to love it, it, it was so stupid in my mind, right? Came from a mate who has had a you know, a job for a couple of years now, stayed at the same position for about five to seven years. I get that, right? That's probably his mentality that, you know what? I like my work now. Didn't do it in the beginning though, but now I do. That was basically because I was like, oh, it's so boring to work in comparison, right? To not be working and doing what you actually want to do. Uh, but this entire argumentation, this entire discussion that it was trying to put forward, this point it was trying to make, to me, that just sounded like someone trying to sell an alcohol to someone who doesn't like it, right? You just have to drink a bit more. You don't like beer? We'll just have another one. You will learn to love it. You don't like coffee? We'll just take another one. You don't like cigarettes? We'll just take another one. You're gonna get into it. You're not a quitter, right? Uh, it sounds like gambling as well. You don't think it's fun. Well, just remember that you're gambling for your family, your near, dear loved ones. It's just so mind-boggling 
stupid, right? And I feel like that category of point that was tried to be made with just fall in love with your work, doesn't matter if you enjoy it, if you not enjoy it, just force yourself and trick yourself so that you like it. Which, yet again, if you have no other option and this is the only occupation that you will have, sure, go for it. I mean, two thumbs fresh for you, right? Do the best of the situation that you can. But when you do have the possibility not to perhaps be there, isn't it better to see if you can seek out some other work, which might, and I'm just putting this out there, right? It's ludicrous, really. <laughs> I know, I, I like how I say it's ludicrous, really, like sarcastically. But for some people, this is going to sound really ridiculous. Why don't you just try to look for another job? I know. Uh, there are many people I know, for instance, uh, who's a bit older. I'm talking like my grandparents and their friends who only worked at one set of occupation for their entire lifetime. Their entire lifespan, they just worked at one place. To me, that's mind boggling, right? And for them, it was a matter of, you know, pride in their in their workplace. Uh, because they had obviously worked there for a very long while, they, they, were, they felt like they were affiliated with the entire organization, they felt like they were a part of the organization and an intrinsic part to that as well. Um, but when I talked to them, they were like, you know, the first five years were pretty shit, but then I got into it, and then I was part of the community, part of the organization, part of the company, yay! Uh, eventually rose to a higher position, and now it's all great, now it's all fine, now it's all dandy, now I'm a senior citizen, and I don't have to care about those things anymore. Uh, so sure, it could be that case, right? That you stay for a company, you learn to love it, you progress, you you elevate yourself within the company, and then you learn to love the new position that you do have. You learn to live the world, right? You learn the uh, what should we say? You learn to live life through a working environment. Because I think that the point that we made was trying to make wasn't necessarily, hey, you know what? If you dislike where you are right now, you stay there and try to find some enjoyment in the pain and suffering that you say that you have I don't by the way I was obviously um, you know dragging on a bit painting on a bit painting with broad brushes I don't really know what it's called in English. exaggerating yeah that's the word uh, I was basically exaggerating a bit for him right I was saying the pain and the suffering shall I have to work uh, which I obviously do not feel if I'm really happy and passionate about my work for instance if I was uh, working in the UN right Oh, it would be the dream or at Blizzard Entertainment. Oh, it would be so good. I would work 24 hours and not sleep for years for those sorts of organizations. But where I am right now, I can argue I don't feel as passionately about what I'm doing at the moment. Especially when I'm thinking, you know, it doesn't really matter if it's an administrative thing or a physical thing or a mental thing. But I'm considering that my position could easily be filled by a robot or some form of you know, fashion like that, uh, which is weird. Um, and right now, as of now, when I'm walking around in my workplace, I'm just thinking, if my occupation could be filled out by a robot, then shouldn't I educate myself instead to try and get out of this situation where I cannot be as easily replaced by a robotic and then be the one that kind of guides the robots to do what they should be doing? Um, uh, yeah, that's just my perception and my mindset. I know some people have a very different mindset about it because it's their job that are being taken. And even so, if it's not, some people actually enjoy it and like it. I'm not one of those people at the moment. Right? I could very much change my mind in the upcoming 10 to 15 minutes or just in a year. Right? I might never change it, but I'm open-minded, right? I'm open to the possibility to change. And yet again, I'm a world-renowning 22-year-old who have life figured bloody out, right? To the niche, to the certain extent. I I know everything, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I absolutely bloody not. But still, to me, it was just like swearing. Someone could have come up to me, like... And, and be saying like, hi, you're a fat bastard piece of shit, I hate you, I hope that you just go around and die in a corner sad, lonely, and I hate you and your entire family. Now, yet again, exaggerating a bit, but to me, yeah, that's kind of the same as saying, you know, just, just learn to love what you're doing even if you don't like it. Yet again, to some degree, you learn to love it, it's a good thing, if you can't avoid it and if it's something that you sh that's good for you right but but I would argue that right now it's not I mean not that it's not good for me it's it's an it's an evaluate uh, it's a value in the experience obviously because I mean if I'm going to continue educating myself 
within the field and I might need to know what it's like at the ground level, at the base level, at the operating level, so to say, when I'm making the decisions and the strategies for how a company should be viewing their workers, right? Then I can be like, hey, you know what? I've been in that mindset that those people are. I know how it all works. Um, so it's a good experience, but yet again, that sort of mentality. I mean, just imagine if this was, if I was working at the place I'm working now and I were to work there for the rest of my life and I didn't like it, I didn't enjoy it, which is the, uh, the situation for some of my mates. Some of my mates are in this scenario, right, where they have a work that they do not truly enjoy, but they still stay there could be yet again because they don't have any other option to change or that if they change it's the same thing but a different company might as well stay with the one they're at now um but imagine that i would going to work with this for the rest of my life um uh, and someone came up to me and be went like you know what you don't like your uh, you don't like your workplace that much you you kind of said to me that this is not what you want to be doing it could be perhaps because you don't like the people perhaps because you don't like the the things that you're doing the things that the company stands for the lack of things that the company stands for it could also be a thing uh could also be because you just don't feel like it's stimulating and challenging to me it's some of those reasons right but not all of them um uh, then isn't it it's, it's just weird to being like you know stay there anyway and he's like, but I'm not happy about staying here, so why should I? And, um, you know, yet again, going back to the stupid, quote-unquote stupid quote that my friend was giving, or the advice that my friend was giving, was that, you know, you, know, you just learn to love it. And I'm just like, it's weird, isn't it? Now, yet again, 22-year-old freshly graduates have my dreams still intact, haven't been that much shattered by the real world yet. Might be happening in a few years when I finally get out to the real world, yeah? Um, in which case, this will be a nice anchor point for me to look back at and be like, ha, what a bloody idiot. He thought he couldn't learn to love or that he didn't need to learn to love his workplace. Woo! We all do, right? Could be my perception in a few years. Could also be that I'm looking back and being like, I had to figure it out already then. Back then. We'll see, right? We'll see. Um, but what I'm gonna say is this. That for the moment, I think that if you don't like what you're doing, you should change your work and try out something new. Because the more times that you strike, you know, the wrong place, the more times you strike the wrong situation, the easier it's going to be to figure out when it's right. Get what I'm saying? It's kind of like going out with several girls, or guys for that matter, or both. And the more times you go out with someone and you feel like this isn't really the one, the, the easier it's going to be to find the one who is, you know, the one. Because you've tried out a different array, so to say. It will be easier to pinpoint where you think people should be, so to say. Or what you feel like you're most compatible with. Uh, yeah, that last point is, uh, or analogy is probably very controversial because people, you know, some people just meet one person for their entire life and that's probably okay if they love them, right? But uh, that's just my perception of how it is, right? Um, I can only speak from context uh, and my own personal history. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's not dig this hole any deeper. What I'm trying to say, mate, is that I'm quite, uh, you know, unfocused today. Um... Because if I don't know why, it could be because the weather has been changing like from, from plus 30 to minus, no, not to minus, but from plus 30 to like 10 degrees. I've been changing every single day, like a flip of a coin, and today it rained, hailed, and stormed. Yeah, the best thing ever. But yeah, as I said before, don't just stick with the job just because you feel like you need to stick with it. Make a change. See what happens. What's the worst thing that can happen, right? I mean, sure, you can lose your income and your stable income and you can lose your the roof over your head and the uh, economic security that you do have. Yeah, okay, so there are pro problems with that, right? But try to apply for one. Try to look for a job casually whilst you're still working and maintaining your work position. If you find something that's right for you, then try to change. Who knows, right? Uh, it's healthy to make a change in life sometimes, to make an environmental change. Or at least I found so, uh, instead of just working and continue educating myself in the same city, in the same country, I'll be making some changes. Not necessarily that I enjoyed all of them, but it's still a growing experience and now I better know what I enjoy. And I'm gonna go back to France. Woohoo! Anyway, right, uh, yeah, let's cut it short here before, yet again, I just bury myself down in the ground further and before I start rambling on about something that makes no sense, which to some degree you can argue that I've already done. Uh, yeah.
And it's kind of funny how I was talking about it yesterday that I need to cut something short because I don't have the time. And then yet again, one of these days today, I'm talking about something that doesn't really mean anything. Depends on your interpretation of what you take away. I had an intent of what I was saying and so it's so you maybe. Yeah, yet again, really unfocused today. Could be the case that things aren't really connected as well as this should be. I feel like I mentioned that like five or ten times by now. So yeah, fine mates, fine.